Grade here with the second episode of the mind test experiment. Uh, I think I'm going to call this series Gray Carbone because it's you know, my modification of the Carbone game. Anyway, I did a little mining off camera, got some uh, some tin and a whole bunch of coal, but uh, I also did some research and this alloy furnace over here requires copper uh, to make bronze and not iron. I'm not sure why I was thinking iron would do it, but there we go. So today my goal is to get uh, copper, try to find copper, and see if we can actually get a better uh, furnace than just this furnace using the Technic mod. It's almost daytime here. One thing I wanted to show you, uh, I can actually go back inside for this real quick. This takes a little delay, I don't know why. There we go. Okay. So, in modded Minecraft, we normally have NEI, which allows us to look up the recipe of any item that there is in the game. This, uh, as I mentioned in the previous episode, I'm using uh, Unified Inventory, and it provides similar functionality over here. Uh, so, if I want to look... I, I actually did this last episode, but I didn't didn't explain it. If I want to look up all the furnaces, here's all the furnaces. Here's what it takes to make a Technic low voltage alloy furnace, bricks, uh, LV cable, and a machine casing. And just like any eye, if I want to know how to make a machine casing, I click on it and then there's what it takes to make a machine casing. Now, oddly enough, uh, there's a bit of a difference here. You notice how I clicked over here on machine casing and this switched over to usage 1 of 17. Here's all of the recipes that use a machine casing, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, it got me a little confused. Also last episode I was a bit confused on how to clear the uh, the grid here and it's actually this button right there. That gets my crafting grid back. Uh, another thing that I noticed about this is I can actually trash anything right there which is really nice. Uh, I do have these buttons, but I do not intend to use them. Um, and then uh, here is the armor, which has six slots, so I'm not sure how that works. And apparently I can have bags, so uh, that'll be cool to eventually get to that. So, pretty neat interface. Oh, if this is blank hitting that. So, like I said previously, I'm using this, this mod called Technic, and I know that there was a loader for, or a mod pack for Minecraft that was called Technic. I don't believe this has any relation to that mod pack. It's just the name, uh, if you want to ask the, uh, the developer on the mind test forums, uh, be my guest. But there it is. Anyway, here are all the different items that are in Technic. And I think it's really nice that the items here, you notice that we get the mod and then the, the name. I don't think there's any item IDs. So just by putting Technic in here, I'm able to pull up everything because it's searching on this, this mod name right here. I believe if I put in Mind Test, this will only... Nope. Uh, I'm not sure what the base game is called. Well, let's find out. Uh, cobblestone has got to be the base game. So default. There we go. So if I do default, here's all the items provided by the uh, the very basic mind test game that everything is built on. So there is that. Not a lot, actually, is there? So uh, the other thing I did is I did upgrade to all stone tools. And I found one of the first things that I'm going to need to get into Technic. I was running around, gathering some wood, planting some uh, some oak trees for an oak farm here. And I came over this way. Oh, that was just another rat. I came over this way, and I saw this tree right here. And I was wondering what this tree was. And it's actually very important. This tree, 
uh, I grabbed a couple saplings, is a rubber tree. Uh, and since Technic is mirroring IC2, we know that we're going to have... Uh, we are going to have... Oops, I always forget that. I have to hit the, the button there. We're going to have rubber to actually create our cabling. So it's good that I found that tree. Uh, I just grabbed a couple of saplings. I haven't done anything more with it. I'm just going to let it sit there and actually deal with the saplings over here in my tree farm. Rats. Rats everywhere. Now let me get these planted really quick. Now, I am planting in my, my standard manual method of of uh, doing a tree farm but I'm not sure if this actually applies in this game so I do there and then three away and three away I think it's three is it three or is it two no one two three there we go okay so we'll let those grow and then chop them down and start down the path to some more machinery. So what I'm looking for now is uh, I'm looking for another cave to explore. I That that one down there didn't go very far. Um, I explored it completely in the, in the last episode. Looking for iron and copper and hopefully get enough to uh, get better tools, and to get better machinery. While we're here, I'll also just grab some of this for some glass up at the base. And I think I really like that. I'm going to actually flesh out the base up at the top. Actually, I just realized something. Sound volume. Let's drop this down. I realized that the sound in the last video was a little overpowering, so you'll have to let me know if this is better or not. Anyway, let's get another shovel. Now, I don't intend to show all of my uh, resource gathering. Uh, this is mainly just to give an idea of where things are in mine test, or in Carbone, I should say. Uh, because games can modify the the ore in any way that they see fit. So, let's see, I keep forgetting I can't stand on leaves. It's very hard ha hard habit to break. It really is. So, let's see if I can find anything. Nothing there. This definitely is not like Minecraft where you you go 20 feet and you stumble into another cave system. They're pretty extensive. Um, I haven't seen anything ex that extensive in either uh, the the minimalist game or in Carbon, but I am open to be surprised. Let's see. Still not a lot of anything. That's just a little passage. Ooh. This looks like another... So, like, like my little base. Hmm. I wonder if we can get into this. Anything yet? No. how it is with pillaring. I, apparently I can't pillar for whatever reason. Oh, another pick. Can we use mossy cobble for pick? No, we can't. Oh, okay. Good to know. There we go. Huh. It's not like there's anything here. Well, I'll have to remember that. And, hmm. Uh, 
Here we are at a desert. I'm not sure what biomes I, uh, we have, so... Oh, right. It goes right to my inventory. I don't have to worry about it falling. So, what is that ore up there? That's more clay. And where, how far up this wall was it? That looks like iron, I think. I'll take that. Let's see if I can get up to it. Oh, nice. Let's get this and... Uh, do, do, do. Desert cobblestone and copper lump. Oh, copper! Copper! We found copper. Good. I wonder if there's... Oh, there's another piece. And let's not bury ourselves. I don't think there's any more in here. Darn. I was hoping there would be more. That's coal. It's more coal. Okay. Well. Also, another thing that threw me a bit off is there is actually a difference between sand and desert sand. So. I, hopefully all of the recipes recognize the both. I don't know if there is a uh, registry, like there is in Forge, a, a materials registry, uh, but we'll find out. And here we get to find out if I can actually remember how to get back to my base. First things first. Let's make sure I have a way to get back out. Okay. I think. I know my base is up in the snowy area. Yep, right there it is. Okay, so we'll just give a little path back to this cave, and let's see what is in here. Now, I don't intend to get all of the resources. I will be skipping some resources. Uh, this is mainly uh, so I can just go back off camera and pick them up, but I will show a good bit of the exploration. And looks like a Nice underground reservoir here. Let's see. Uh, that was not a good spot for it. There we go. That still wasn't a good spot for it. caverns, I think. Not so much those winding passages. I'm going to stick out of the water at the moment. Let's see. It goes up quite a ways. Uh, more copper, is this? Nope, that was iron. So I'll definitely take that. I think water... Yeah. We can make air pockets that way. That's good to know. Okay. This... Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is this? 
was that? Holy crap. Oh. Okay, that was officially our first hostile mob. And I, I, I don't think it dropped anything. Scared the crap out of me. That was for sure. Oh, there's another one there. <laughs> These. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I am hurt. I am getting out of dodge because I don't want to lose any of this loot. So, okay. Uh, and I obviously need armor. Okay, okay. Gotta be quick about this. There and there. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Uh, uh, I thought this was the way up. I had torches up here. What the heck? Okay, let's go up. Okay, so there... Where's my way out? Is it here? Yeah, here it is. Okay. And it's night time, but I think, if I remember correctly, I'm safe above ground, at, even at night. I think. Um, wait a minute. Oh, I've got apples on me. Why didn't I have that in my normal spot? Here we go. Does this... Does there... Okay, left clicking, and you, it's the old uh, eat directly to heal system. Okay, 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 get in, close the door. Okay, that was not fun. Okay. But we now have copper, so we can see if uh, copper plus... <sighs> Copper plus tin equals bronze in this alloy furnace here, and I'm pretty sure it does. Of course, I could always check, but where's the fun in that? And while we're waiting, let's put in our iron as well. Okay, tin. And let's see. Tin plus copper equals... Yes! We're making something. Ah. Okay, three copper and one tin. Gets us four bronze. Nice. Okay. I wonder if there's a way that I can... Uh, keep forgetting. Don't hit under there. Hit the thing. Okay, we can make bronze armor. Bronze shield? That's... New, okay. Bronze ingot, and then... Here's all the uses for bronze. What's this? Locked furnace, okay. And a locked chest. Uh, let's see. Arrows seem to be pretty easy to make. Okay. And now we're repeating again. So, okay. Well, I don't want to... I'm the only player. I don't need another locked uh, furnace or a locked chest. So, set that aside for now. Can I do anything with all this tin? No. What the heck? Okay, so there, but this is bronze over here, so, hmm, 
Okay, it doesn't look like we can do anything with the tin other than turn it into bronze. So, uh, need a whole bunch more copper. Okay, while we're at it, I'm going to cook up 30 pieces of sand. There we go. Get some windows, a little bit more lighting. And what can we do with iron? Looks like we can do quite a bit. Can we do armor, though, with iron? Because I definitely need armor after that. I don't know what that was. Diamond, bronze, gold, mithril, steel. Oh, we make steel boots. Oh. Iron ingots, okay. And, oh, 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 I can make wooden armor. Time to make some wooden armor. Okay, crafting. Let's make about like that. Oh, what the heck, a few more. I've got a wood farm out front. Let's not be stingy. So, there's the boots. There's the helmet. There's the chest piece. And pants. Okay, let's see how we look normally. There we go. And... Okay, does it matter where I put these? Doesn't look like it matters where I put these. And pants. Okay. And... <laughs> that looks kind of cool! Okay, that works. At least that gives me some armor uh, until I can get a, a better set. Um, looks like it might be iron because we only need to find iron and not anything else. Ooh, okay. Okay. Well, it's nighttime. I don't want to head back out there. So, let's see what we need to make our next, our, our, our first furnace. Uh, it helps if I spell furnace correctly. There we go. So it's going to be the low, low voltage alloy furnace. Bunch more clay. We need cast iron ingots, eight of them, and a br brass. How do I make brass? Two copper, one zinc. I have to find zinc. Okay, well, obviously we're not making the furnace anytime soon. Um, generator. Can we make a, is there geothermal, fuel-fired, hydro, okay. Same thing, machine casing, so we're going to need a bunch of, okay. Well... How about tubes? Crossing mnemonic. Plastic sheets. Comes from unprocessed paraffin, which comes from leaves. I think I looked this up yesterday. Yes, and I grabbed a bunch of leaves just for this purpose. So let's... Uh, Okay, I can make two batches of that. There we go, and we need to cook this up, right? Yep, okay. So these are the basic tubes for Pipeworks, which is another uh, another mod. It, uh, it, I think it's basically just tubes for moving things around or liquids. Also apparently power. Hmm. Ace sand. Ace tube. One-way tube. Sand tube. Well, let's get this and 
make some tubes and see if we can figure it out. Is it light out yet? Oh, there it goes. So while that's cooking up, let's go back out this way. And check on the rubber trees. Nice, nice big trees. Okay. Let's just, uh, wait, where's my axe? If I remember correctly. No, these are only getting one at a time. When I was chopping down trees yesterday, I, I was axing the leaves, and it was getting more than one at a time. I'm not sure why. Maybe they were despawning because, or must must have just been despawning. Okay. Well, lesson learned. Uh, there we go. Let's go back in and see what these tubes do. That's nice. It actually autofills as well. Okay. So these are tubes. Let's see. Okay. Well, we don't have a lot. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I got a whole bunch of wood on me. Let's see what happens when we hook it up to a chest, and then some tubes, oops, uh, sneak, sneak quick works, and then, huh, I wonder how you get things out. What's this, one-way tube? Vacuuming pneumatic tube segment. Teleporting. Sorting. Well, we could do sorting, I guess. Huh. I guess this is a time that I would have to look at a wiki. Well, let me do that, and I will be right back. Well... Okay, that's going to have to wait for another episode. Not only am I running up about up about to the uh, half hour mark, I want to keep these right around half an hour. Uh, the other thing is, I will need uh, an injector, I think it was called. Here we go. Item-wise, filter injector, stack-wise, and self-contained injector. Anyway, so this is the basic. The, you need this to pull out of an inventory and then send it into the pipes. Kind of like uh, how Redstone was, or not Redstone, Red Power was a while ago, if you're familiar with that. Unfortunately, while I can make the plastic sheets and the iron, and obviously the stick, this Mesa Crystal uh, is going to be hard to get uh, because the Mesa Crystal is actually deep down in a mine. So I think what I should do is instead of um, caving, I should actually probably come up with a mine and uh, dig deeply and greedily so I can get zinc, which I apparently need, along with the Mesa crystals uh, and everything else. So, what I will do is uh, end the episode here, and I'll probably do just like a basic... I don't know, probably not a skylight mine, uh, probably just a stair mine, maybe even just a, uh, a, a hole straight down with uh, ladders heading back up. I, I actually don't know how deep to go on any of these, so I'll have to do some digging, and uh, I'll do that off camera, and if I find anything interesting, I'll uh, let you know and show you in the next episode. Until then, have fun.